And what's really incredible, I just want you to ponder this for a second. What's really incredible is that the language that those neurons use is exactly the same. The neuron that responds to light touch sends electrical signals up toward the brain. The neurons that respond to cold or to heat or to habanero pepper, they only respond to the particular thing that evokes the electrical response. I should say that they only respond to the particular stimulus, the pepper, the cold, the heat, et cetera, that will evoke an electrical signal. But the electrical signals are a common language that all neurons use. And yet, if something cold is presented to your skin, like an ice cube, you know that that sensation, that thing is cold. You don't misperceive it as heat or as a habanero pepper. Okay, so that's amazing. What that means is that there must be another element in the equation of what creates pleasure or pain. And that element is your brain. Your brain takes these electrical signals and interprets them partially based on experience, but also there are some innate, meaning some hardwired aspects of pain and pleasure sensing that require no experience whatsoever. A child doesn't have to touch a flame, but once and the very first time they will withdraw their hand from the flame. The pain and pleasure system don't need prior experience. What they need is a brain that can interpret these electrical signals and somehow create what we call pleasure and pain out of them.